what's up guys <laughs> welcome back to the channel colin mcgraw here look excited to talk to you guys about um i just quit my job just did it yesterday and i'm here to give you guys some advice so you guys can avoid that situation and uh, i'll give you the story so let's get into it here Literally one hour before I quit the job. Can't do it anymore. Alright guys, let's get to the advice. I want oh fuck. <laughs> let's do that again. Let me give you some advice. I just went through this, I learned it was only one month on the job, so I'm gonna give you some advice so you guys don't ever have to go through this. Number one, always trust your gut. My gut told me to not take this job. I was, I shouldn't have taken this job. My gut said, you're overqualified. You know what it's gonna be and you know you're gonna hate your life. I went against my gut based on Glassdoor reviews, based on I messaged a few people on LinkedIn. They said it was the best job they ever had and the, the wage was really good. So I was like, look, all right, I'll do it. Um, big mistake, always, always trust your gut. So my story guys is, um, you know, my company where I felt a little overqualified. I needed to be doing 60 to 80 dials a day. If you weren't hitting 60 dials a day, um, you needed a good, a good reason for it. And <laughs> um, like I said, I just felt overqualified, just wasn't uh, a good fit for me. And it was cold calling, straight cold calling. So I hated my life. <laughs> It just wasn't a good fit uh, for what I was looking to do. So number two, this kind of goes along with that. Understand the average wage of the city. I didn't understand uh, that New York pays quite a bit more. So um, I learned that real quickly. Um, you know, I should have known what my valuation is before I took the job. Um, now I know, now I know what I'm worth. Um, but yeah, always know what the salaries are paying based on the city you're moving to. All right guys, another big part of my story is, have you ever seen the movie Wolf of Wall Street? And you know how like it's just grind, pick up the phone, keep dialing, keep dialing. That was my office. Are you behind on your credit card bills? Good, pick up the phone and start dialing. Is your landlord ready to evict you? Good, pick up the phone and start dialing. Um, also the drugs and booze, that was a big part of it as well. Like people were doing Adderall, some people would leave the office to go on a smoke break, like smoking weed. Um, people were hitting shots at like three o'clock in the afternoon. I'm like, I'm gonna die in this job. Like, I just can't do it. Like, to get, give you an example, this job was so hard on me. Like on a Monday, if I had just like, I, need, I hadn't hit my dials yet, um, I would like pour myself a couple shots of gin just to get through the day. And I'm like, this is not sustainable. Like, and then the next day you had to do it all again. All right, guys, number three. Don't just trust Glassdoor ratings and that like the company's highly rated. Actually message a few people on LinkedIn that are actually working there and get like, get some actual information from the inside and see what they're actually saying. Like I said, I did that when I accepted this job um, and looking at their background, my gut still said I shouldn't have done it. I did it anyways, um, lesson learned there. Hey guys, if you're liking this story and you're liking some of my advice, go ahead and subscribe, like the video, I don't have an income guys, so YouTube's all I've got. So please go ahead and like and subscribe and I will hopefully get a job in the next month, but if not, YouTube's all I've got. So, all right, back to the story. Here it is, 9.15. Really don't want to go into the office, so I'll decide to sit down, take in the view, and uh, have a little bit of happiness before I go into the office. Every single day was a battle. Like I just wake up, best part of my day was literally just leaving the office when I went for walks. Um, so that was my favorite part of the day. I would just walk, rain, shine, didn't matter. I was just happy to get out of the office. Um, you know, going to the bathroom was like, oh my God, I can breathe for a second. So <laughs> it was just a bad fit um, to begin with here. Like at the end of the day, is it worth just collecting a paycheck just to feel this stress every single day. I understand it's New York and there's a grind, but I'd rather do the grind for a company that actually excites me and I don't feel like I'm not myself every single day. So that was a big reason I decided to leave the job after only one month here. <laughs> just quit, it's official, I'm done, no more. I'm excited to be done. Um, feels like a great day. I can already feel my energies returned, just talking to my friends, talking to my parents my energy feels back. So I think I definitely made the right decision. I'm so happy to be done with this job that just wasn't a good fit for me. Just wasn't a good fit.
This is just my story, by the way. Um, I'm lucky that I'm in a place where I could actually quit and uh, afford it. I have I saved a lot of money over the past year, um, so I could do this, especially in New York City. I know it's a tough decision, um, but yeah, it was just wasn't worth the, the money anymore. So I saved enough money where I could make this move. Um, I just think at the end of the day, you want to enjoy your life. You know, life is short. Don't don't just work the rat race just to cash a check every single day. If you can, try and find what you love to do. Um, so yeah, I got some money back from my apartment scam. Um, so I'm sitting, uh, things are going up for me. Um, hopefully I can get a job in the next month. That's the next hurdle. Um, but otherwise I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to go exploring and hopefully create some cool videos for you guys. So um, go ahead and subscribe and I will talk to you guys next time. All right, have a good one guys.